Hello, what we're going to do in our video today is we're going to combine our ideas of gravitational potential energy and the calculations we did with that of kinetic energy and the equation we used to calculate that. And we're going to do some quite challenging maths questions based on those two ideas. So we've got a question there on the left hand side, question number one, and it talks about a ball that is thrown vertically upwards at a speed of 10 meters per second. The mass of the ball is 260 grams and they have kindly converted that to kg for us and we want to calculate the maximum height from this idea from our last video. Uh, we want to calculate the maximum height that the ball reaches. So it might be worth watching that last video if you haven't done so. Key bits of information in this question are we've got a speed of 10 meters per second, the mass is 0 0.26 kg and we want to calculate the maximum height the ball reaches. So the key idea here is firstly that we know that when a ball is thrown vertically upwards the kinetic energy is transferred to gravitational potential energy. It's transferred to gravitational potential energy. That means if we can calculate the kinetic energy that will be the same amount of energy at the maximum height of the ball because it all gets transferred assuming there are no other energy transfers. Okay so how do we actually calculate kinetic energy? Well hopefully you remember from the video on kinetic energy there is an equation and you do have to remember this equation it's kinetic energy is half times mass times velocity squared and you can write it out as half mv squared which means the same thing and if we put in our numbers we've got 0 0.5 times the mass now remember the mass needs to be in kg and they've converted that for us in the question they don't always do that the speed is in meters per second which is 10 and so we've got 0 0.5 times 0 0.26 times 10 times 10, which gives us an answer of 13 joules. So the kinetic energy with which the ball is thrown up is 13 joules, and that's transferred to gravitational potential energy. So we know at the maximum height, the ball has 13 joules of gravitational potential energy. And our equation for gravitational potential energy, again, is something we have to remember. We're not going to be given that in the exam, is mass times g times h. I should mention that we should use 10 newtons per kilogram for g in this example. So we've got 13 joules is m times g times h. The mass is 0 0.26. g, as we have been told, is 10, and we don't know the height. So here we need to do a little bit of rearranging. We've got 13 equals 2.6 times h, 2.6 I got from multiplying 0 0.26 times 10. We then divide 13 by 2.6 and that will give us the height. And if you put that into your calculator, should really put the equal sign underneath properly, but if you do that in your calculator, you'll get an answer of 5 and it's a height, so it's 5 meters. Okay, so a few uh, slightly tricky things to go through there, but um, hopefully you can have a go at that. So let's try one more question. And this time you can use the example that we've done there to try a question of your own. So give it a pause. And in fact, before you pause, just remember G is 10 newtons per kg for this question. So now feel free to pause and give this question a go. So the first thing to remind ourselves is that the kinetic energy of the ball as it's being thrown up is going to be transferred to gravitational potential energy. So the kinetic energy store will be transferred to the gravitational potential energy store. So what is the question exactly asking? What are the key ideas? So we've got a speed of 20 meters per second. The mass of the ball is 58 grams, hasn't been converted to kilograms, so we'll have to do that in the question. Also note that in the exam you won't be allowed to take a highlighter in, so we'll be, you'll have to underline the key points here. Um, and we're trying to work out the maximum height the ball reaches, just as we did previously. Okay, and that's given, that would be given by H. So in terms of kinetic energy, again, said it a hundred times, but we need to memorize this formula. So it's, this memorize this equation. So it's uh, half times MV squared for kinetic energy. And that will give us 0 0.5 times a mass of 0 0.058 times 20 times 20. The 0 0.058 comes from converting the grams, the mass in grams, to the mass in kilograms, which you do by dividing by a thousand. And the 0 0.5 comes from the half in the equation. 
So if you work those out, you're going to get an answer of 11.6 joules. So the ball is thrown with kinetic energy of 11.6 joules, and that's going to be transferred to gravitational potential energy, assuming there are no other energy transfers. So the gravitational potential energy at the height, at the maximum height, will be 11.6, and we know gravitational potential energy is m times g times h. So all we do is we put in our numbers in our equation. So the mass is 0 0.058. We multiply that by 10, which is given to us in the question, but we don't know the height. And the height is what we're trying to calculate. So the next step is to calculate the parts that we know. So that will give us 11.6 equal uh, divided by 0 0.58 will give us the height. And we got 0 0.58 by multiplying 0 0.058 by 10 from the step above. And if we do that on the calculator, that will give us an answer of 20 meters. So the maximum height the ball will reach is 20 meters. OK, so that was quite challenging in that we had to use two equations from our physics GCSE, along with some math skills to work out the height of a, of a ball thrown in the air. OK, so we'll try and do as much practice as this on this as we can, either through the channel or through the website. But for now, that's us done. I'll see you again soon.